Today, a lot of the discussion about artificial intelligence focuses on the jobs and workers that it might displace. And while it's certainly true that many of our jobs will be affected by AI, it's also important to understand that AI has become a catch-all term. Not all AI are created equal. In fact, there's an entire spectrum of AI applications, each with a range of capabilities that can be broken down broadly into three categories. When most people think about AI, they're thinking of autonomous intelligence. These are sophisticated software programs that operate without human involvement, making decisions based on specified goals. But autonomous intelligence is actually pretty rare and has hardly ever been applied outside of the financial sector where it's used to trade stocks. Next, there's augmented intelligence. These AI programs don't operate independently, but instead allow people to do things they couldn't otherwise do. One example is pattern finding. A task like planning a complex route based on dynamic traffic conditions would not be possible without the use of intelligent algorithms. This type of AI is becoming more common, but it does require a large amount of very high quality data. Finally, there's assisted intelligence. This type of AI basically improves on our existing abilities. It works on clearly defined, rule-based, repetitive tasks. This form of AI is already being used widely for tasks like data validation. As with any emerging technology, AI will create brand new opportunities that extend and enhance the abilities of human beings. One sector where AI already has many practical applications is healthcare. Many new healthcare startups are driven by AI, but in order to succeed, they need to make some key determinations. First, it's important to decide on who they're really creating value for and what that value actually is. This can actually be harder than it seems. For instance, imagine a company that uses AI and a smart pillow to analyze someone's sleeping patterns. If the startup chooses to provide personalized sleep data for individuals, then it's patient-focused. But they could also target clinics or hospitals, offering a way to collect and analyze patient data over time. Then their focus is actually on healthcare providers. Next, they need to focus on value capture. Data is crucial for all startups that use AI. Many AI-driven startups aim to provide higher quality insights from patient data, either by running better analysis, aggregating more sources of data, or presenting that data in a better way. These companies would be considered information providers. Other types of companies are more focused on the steps beyond diagnosis. They serve as connectors by recommending patients to physicians or providing platforms for interaction and monitoring. By considering their target market and how to capture value from that market, AI-driven healthcare companies can create lasting business models that position themselves effectively while still remaining open to the latest advancements in this emerging field of artificial intelligence. To learn more, please read the article in our latest issue of California Management Review.